So for part i, we need to find all the vertices that are incident on v1. So there's v1, and the edges that are incident on v1 are edge 1 and edge 2 and edge 7. For part 2, we need to find all the vertices that are adjacent to vertex 3. Here's vertex 3. Vertex 3 has two edges coming out of it, E6 and E7, which connect V3 to two other vertices, V2 and V1. For part 3, we need to find all the edges that are adjacent to edge 1. Now, edge 1 is incident on V1, which means that edge 1 is adjacent to the other two edges that are incident on V1. So that means that edge 1 is adjacent to edge 2 and edge 7. For part 4, we have to find all the loops. These are edges that connect vertices to themselves. That's E1 and E3. For part 5, we need to find all the parallel edges. These are, put another way, multi-edges, or edges that connect vertices that are already connected by another edge. So in this example, that is edge 4 and edge 5. So for part 6, we need to find all the isolated vertices. These are vertices that have no edges coming out of them. There's only one of those in this graph, and that's V4. And lastly, we need to find the degree of V3. So V3 is over here, and as we can see, there are two edges incident on V3, meaning that the degree of V3 is 2. And we write that by saying deg of V3 equals 2. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.